<laughs> well, yeah, it's uh, it's stressful times. There's no doubt. I mean, it's obviously exciting, and that's why you that's why you play the game. That's why you coach. You know, it's just that that adrenaline rush. But uh, certainly, when they scored that goal, you know, uh, you know, going to the bench, I was saying, hey, geez, you know, if we can just keep it at two nothing for the first five minutes, and you know, they got it, they got that goal early. So then, uh, but I thought we. Uh, really did a well, you know, good job of, of, of protecting middle ice and D zone, and played well defensively. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's I think the reason we won the series is we just played really good defense. So, and uh, as Trotsy said to me before the series started, you know, offense wins in a regular season, but defense wins championships, and everything's tighter. And uh, you know, we're the third best offense in the league, but you know, didn't score a ton of goals in the series after that first game. So. Uh, Got to give hats off to a, a real good defensive effort overall. Troy, there was a, a lot of heat on you guys, I think, after you lost what could have been an emotionally crushing game three. Just talk about how you guys weathered the storm in the last two games. Well, I think that uh, the first thing I said to the players the next morning was if it was a regular season game where you get a point, uh, I would have been extremely happy as a coach because I thought we played great. I thought five on five, we were a better team. We had 27 grade eight chances, which was the most chances we had actually in the last three games. And uh, we, we felt that McKenna won that game for them. And uh, unfortunately during that over, those overtimes, the longer it went and the more chances we missed, you know, you, you're going to run out of your luck and, and they buried one. But uh, so we talked to the guys about that and then just gave them several examples over the last couple of years of teams that have battled back from one game down to, uh, to not only win series, uh, but win championships. And uh, the guys were, were ready to go last night. You know, you could feel it. And uh, that was arguably one of our best, if not the best game of the season we played last night. I don't think we were as good tonight, to be honest with you. Uh, after the 40 minutes, I told the players, hey, guys, we've been just OK here. We're up 2 nothing." Uh, uh, you know, let's play a real solid third here to get the win because um, uh, I'll be honest, both teams looked a little bit tired, you know, and that's a lot of hockey here in the last, what, four days. This was very much a goaltending duel between the two goalies. Can you just talk about Petey and McKenna's play in the series? Well, I thought McKenna was their best player. Um, you know, I thought five on five uh, for the most part over the course of those five games. Uh, you know, you take away the first two periods in Portland uh, in game one and uh, obviously a little bit tonight when they were making a push, they were desperate and down two goals. Um, I thought McKenna, you know, this series went as long as it did because of him. And, but in saying that from our end, I mean, Peters was outstanding and uh, it couldn't have happened for a, a better guy. You know, I, I've coached a lot of good people in my day and, and good hockey players and, and Peters is, he lives and breathes the game of hockey and he just does everything right. So for him to have his moments of struggles during the regular season and then uh, have to start on the bench watching Ellie uh, take game one and then he's come in and really shut the door, um, you know, real happy for him. Does getting pushed to the limit in this series do anything for you going forward? Well, you know, I know at least in the NHL, they claim the first round is always the hardest, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, our division was pretty strong this year. I mean, there's only eight points that really separated us from Portland, and it was a 16 battle for, you know, a good chunk of the season. So uh, there was no easy games in our division. I thought this year's division was much much harder than last year. Um, so we had to really grind it out to get the division title, and I knew that, you know, if we had Providence or Portland that first round, it was going to be a, it was going to be a tough first round, and it it played out to be very difficult. So um, I'm not going to say the next round's any easier. It usually gets harder as you move on, but uh, there's nothing wrong with having a real good test early and uh, test your mental fortitude and uh, face some adversity because you're not going to if you're not you're not going to win a championship without facing some kind of adversity along the way. Um, and it was good to get it out of the way early, and I'm sure there'll be some more here as as, as we start Wednesday here. Now, Troy, you talked about how good the defense was down the stretch of this series, but you also got quite a bit of offense from your defense and 10 of the 12 goals, including the game-winning goal tonight. Is that part of your strategy coming into the series or something that just unfolded? No, it's it's something that uh, we've been doing since October 1, really. I mean, our uh, we play in a very aggressive system, and the D have got the green light. I mean, obviously, with not... Uh, not to be crazy out there, but they've got green lights in a lot of situations. We want our D active. We think it's the only way to play now, uh, the way the hockey uh, is so compact in the D zone coverage. You've got to create uh, offense, and, and that's what we try to do, which involves the defense. And uh, I think the numbers indicate that from our defense over the regular season. And, uh, you know, when you got guys like Stanton, Lewington, I mean, I think Lewington ended up with three or four points. Um, and let's not forget, we had three rookie defensemen in, in, in the lineup here, and that's not easy to do. And... Uh, um, 
you know, the, for those kids to play with composure and they had their moments, like every player. But um, you know, real, real proud of that decor right now. Troy, can you talk about the coaching adjustment you made after they scored? You sat Christian and you went with five D uh, to balance your D like that and make sure you're only going with five and the switch up. Just the challenges that go with that, and is that is that something that you were considering after the goal that was scored there? Well, we we thought that. Uh, you know, we felt that over the six that Juice was had his struggles. You know, he wasn't moving the puck and as quick as he can, and he's he's a smallish guy, right? So uh, he's a great puck mover, and that's his strength. So, but if he's not moving the puck, you know, you're always worried about him getting beat defensively down low. And and we knew that when you're down, when you're up and teams are making pushes, you're going to defend. You know, we're not going to play the whole period in the Ozone play because they're the team that's desperate. Uh, so we were just trying to get, you know, bigger bodies out there like Lewington and Stanton and Berge. And uh, so we went down to the five there. And, and Louie had one heck of a series, uh, um, you know, for a kid that started in the ECHL and, you know, just come a long way. Uh, I, I thought he was fantastic over those five games. Will Square will be facing the old uh, rest versus rust dilemma. Any <laughs> thoughts on that from your perspective? Well, I think that, uh, you know, they're going to have, what, uh, 10, 12 days there, you know, once we st get started here on Wednesday. And, um, you know, we'll get a day off tomorrow, just get the guys out Tuesday a little bit to get their legs back. And, you know, there's really – it's the players don't even want to practice this time of year. You know, it's tough to work on things. Your, your, your adjustments and your scouting reports and everything you do to prepare for a team, whether it's within this series or the next series, is all through a video now. So you've got to – got to teach the guys and, and, and show them what you need to be done to beat the, the next next opponent uh, through that. So, um, you know, we'll be ready to go. And, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be an interesting Wednesday game for them, you know, because it is a long layoff. And I'm sure they had some days off and um, never easy. And uh, I seen that six years ago in the finals when we had something like 12 or 13 days off. And Texas came in here and, and ran the show for two games and took us some time to get our legs back. But, you know, we'll, we'll be ready. That second goal uh, had a breaking action after some solid Portland possession. Was there any specific focus or, or message within that that huddle there in that break? Well, we just told them that you know we needed to control the momentum swings, and uh, you know we'd be the same way if we were down two goals or one goal with 15 minutes left. You're going to make huge pushes, and you're going to need to defend. And we just wanted to continue to protect the middle of the ice, and and uh, our philosophy was to try to get the puck out of our end as quick as possible into the neutral zone, preferably in the ozone play. But you know if you break up to three zones. You want to play an ozone play first, neutral zone second, and your D zone third. Um, and we just want to you know, continue to tell the guys, let's play on our toes um, because you don't want to sit back. And, and I didn't feel we were sitting back, but we did have to defend uh, uh, you know, when they made their push. Series from playing a team you haven't seen since November to playing a team that you're now going, you've seen most of the end of the season. How does that change the preparation now that you have after seeing Wilkes Barre so much? Well, when I've seen, you know, obviously there's preparation in terms of the league and the teams uh, when the next series starts. Um, and, you know, and there was a couple possibilities for us. And uh, as a coaching staff, we were fine whether we started midweek or on the weekend uh, because we played them 13 times, you know, 12 times in the regular season and once in the exhibition game. So, uh, uh, there's really not much to not to know about them. Uh, there'll be more in-game adjustments or game-to-game -game adjustments with them in terms of how they're playing us. But, you know, teams aren't just going to all of a sudden change their systems and, you know, they're going to have their structure in place just like we will. So uh, we were very comfortable in terms of maybe just having three days or two days, depending how long this series was, uh, with a preparation for Wilkes-Barre. Um, you know, if it was maybe a Toronto uh, or something like that, maybe you think about taking the longer break if possible, maybe to Friday, uh, give you the extra few days to watch maybe some more games like a Portland. You know, we spent, you know, well, we watched five or six Portland games because we hadn't seen them, right? Uh, this is a real different story right now. Right, four games, last four games, four goals. Was this the best defensive stretch you've had this whole season in your in your mind, do you feel like it was, or was there, were you playing better at, at some point early in the season? No, I, I I think that's a fair point. You know, um, you know, I think the guys realize when you know all of a sudden you play in playoffs, and um, I think it was a wake up call for us in game one down there, and um, we recovered in that third period almost tied it um, and then from then on we've we've played our best defensive hockey of the year and uh, I've gotten some timely goals and uh, it's just you know we were third in the league I told the guys this morning we we're third in the league uh, in offense but at the end of the day you know we're only getting one and two and it's that's just the way it is in playoffs and 
you know, if we play good defense, we'll have the puck. And we've, we had the puck plenty. We had, you know, lots of opportunities to score goals. But, you know, their goalie played well, our goalie played well, and everybody steps up in the playoffs, goaltenders included. Good? Okay, thank you. We'll see you Wednesday.